What's going on guys, my name is Relic and welcome back for another video. Did you guys notice anything different about what you're seeing on the screen right now? And if you already saw it, good job. But if you didn't, let me tell you real quick. If you didn't already notice, my interface is actually from 2010 RuneScape. And pretty much almost everything has changed. From the original sprites at the top and bottom of my inventory, to even the sprites on the skills. But hey, let's say that you guys don't like the 2010 RuneScape interface, and you want something a bit more original. Don't worry, because I got you covered. Bam, now I have a 2005 retro interface instead, which honestly I think looks pretty cool. Now something that you guys might not have realized is, at the top of the screen it says OS Buddy Pro, which means that I have these interfaces not on Conduit. Which might surprise some of you guys because literally every time in the comment sections I see somebody asking about the retro interface and every response that that guy gets is, this guy is using Conduit. But no, if you guys have OS Buddy Pro, you can get not only this retro interface, but you can also get this 2010 RuneScape interface as well. So if you guys have OS Buddy Pro and you didn't know about these interface toggles, let me show you how to activate them. First thing you're going to want to do is go up to your settings cog at the top right of your client. And from here, you're going to want to go into the search bar and type the word custom. Now you guys can see the options for custom game sprites. So what you need to do now is go down to the cog right next to that. And from here, you guys can actually change the skin of your client. So let's say I don't want one at all. And bam, we're back to the original interface. But let's say that you want something a little bit more retro. Go back into your skins and select 2005, and now you guys can see how original this is. Or if you want something a little bit more updated looking, and maybe a little bit more clean, head back over to the settings and you could just change it to 2010. Upon switching between these interfaces, you might see some things that don't align correctly, but if you want to fix that, all you gotta do is go into the settings, turn on resizable, and then turn it back off. And now your interface sprites all line up perfectly. However, there is something you guys do have to take into consideration when switching these interfaces, and that is you cannot use OpenGL, because for some reason it blacks out your inventory logo on both 2005 and the 2010 versions of this interface, but if that's something that you're willing to sacrifice for beautiful graphics, well, as beautiful as RuneScape can get, then all the power to you, just ignore that little black square looking backpack. But yeah, that's about it for this video. I just really wanted to show you guys that you can get the retro interfaces on OS Buddy, as well as a 2010 version of the interfaces. Personally, I think I'm going to stick with the 2010 interface for a little bit, because I just like how clean it looks, especially with these pillars, and it just makes the inventory look really nice. However, I do wish that I could keep the skills looking the same as they did, but I guess it is what it is, and I'm just going to have to settle with it. But anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to drop a like below. It really does help out my channel. And if this is the first video you've seen on my channel, be sure to check out some of my other series, such as my Grand Exchange Flipping series, where I go from 10 mil to 100 mil solely from Grand Exchange Flipping. But with all that being said, hope that you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.